Nowadays, it's hard to find a laboratory that doesn't contain some type of compressed gas. Laboratories use these gases in many ways, to fuel heating devices like Bunsen burners, to keep materials and equipment cool, as a part of experiments and processes themselves. While some laboratories now pipe gases in from a central storage location, Many labs continue to use compressed gas cylinders to store and distribute the gases that they need. And there's a lot of gas squeezed into one of these cylinders. For example, a cylinder full of compressed hydrogen contains enough gas to fill a 260 cubic foot room. Of course, that's why gas cylinders exist, to reduce the space that's needed to store gases. Obviously, the gas in a compressed cylinder is under a great deal of pressure, and that makes the cylinders very dangerous. There are four basic ways to store pressurized gases. The first is called standard compression. This is where substances such as hydrogen or helium are squeezed into a cylinder but kept in their gas form. The second way to store a gas is as a liquid. This works for gases that condense under ordinary temperatures or at pressures between 25 and 2500 pounds per square inch, such as carbon dioxide and propane. The third storage method is to dissolve a gas in a solvent. Acetylene is the only common gas that's stored this way because it's unstable in its pure form and must be dissolved to be stored. The fourth method is to compress a gas into a very cool cryogenic liquid. This is only used for substances with boiling points below negative 238 degrees Fahrenheit like nitrogen, oxygen and argon. It's important to know how each of the gases we work with is compressed and, as a result, how it behaves. We also need to know what precautions to take to handle each gas safely.